Hey, what is up, fellow Raiders? This is Vulcan Dan, and here we are. We have more information on the Hydra clan boss that is coming very soon. Uh, yesterday from Ash's exclusive interview with Cyrilla, we got information on Head of Torment, but now we also have information on the Head of Suffering and Head of Mischief. So yeah, so uh, we have, of course, three Hydra heads right now. We do not know if this is if the clan boss or the new Hydra clan boss will only have three heads or if there are more waiting uh, and we still do not have information on those. But yeah, so now we have three. Maybe there's four, maybe there's five. We do not know yet. And yeah, there are a lot of sim similarities between these three most specifically, of course, from the passive. Uh, and uh, after reading the passive, I'm actually thinking that this is more similar to a dungeon boss fight than a clan boss fight. This is because we have this passive right here. Damage from skills that scale when based on enemy max HP cannot exceed 10% of the head's max HP when attacking this head. So of course, uh, we don't have to worry about this for the clan the clan boss because we, we cannot deal 10% 10, 10 of the clan boss's max HP in one hit. That is huge. That is enormous. Uh, but yeah, for di this one, it's more similar to the dungeon bosses in stages 21 to 20, 25 that... Uh, we are capped at 10% of the head's max HP when dealing damage on uh, with skills that scale on enemy max HP. So yeah, this, this is uh, this makes it look like a a dungeon boss fight, but instead of one boss, you get three bosses or may, maybe more. Yeah, so three bosses at the same time, and you can decapitate them. You can uh, they have passives down here. First one is decapitation. For the Head of Suffering, we have Loot the Scales, and for the last one, we have Fugue. So whenever we decapitate the head, the there are some benefits. So here in the, in the first one, it will remove Fear and True Fear and will place Perfect Veil. This one will place a shield on everyone, and then this one will deplete the Terminator of all hy Hydra Heads. So yeah, so we can kill these heads one by one. Uh, which is of course different from our current clan boss because of course we cannot kill the current clan boss it just goes on uh, to into infinity all right so let us take a look at the skills of these uh, clan boss heads first one of course th this guy places fear single target but will attack uh, will do an aoe attack if other enemies or other of your champions are under fear or true fear and he does place true fear in his passive right here if you are not under veil or perfect veil uh so yeah so you you probably want to have to, to bring someone that brings an aoe perfect veil on your entire team and we do not have a lot of those champions in the game so this would make it quite difficult yeah so and i'm thinking right now i think plarium does not want us to have this team that, that can block all of the debuffs like what what we are doing with the current clan boss which, which is why they're making this debuff uh, cannot be blocked or resisted so they don't want us to just form a uh, a team that can uh, pro probably last 50 turns with this boss and do insane amounts of damage so i think they really want us to probably take these debuffs and hopefully we can deal enough damage to the clan boss to this new hydra clan boss while you know having uh, while our champions are being uh hit with all of these fears and all of these other things so that's what i'm thinking right right now i don't think they want us to have like this team set up wherein you can just uh do your it initial skills and then place it on auto and that and that's it so i think they want us or they want this to be more similar to a dungeon boss fight all right, and his A2, of course, is an AoE hit that uh, increases its damage by 25% for each debuff an enemy is under. So that can potentially be a very large hit if you are under some other debuffs. All right, so of course, for the passives, we have a lot of similar stuff here. Poisons are decreased by 90%. Uh, this one also decreases the damage all Hydra Heads take from AoE attacks by 10%. All, uh, all Hydra Heads have similar passives. They all have this, except... For this guy, this guy decreases the damage of all Hydra Heads take from AoE attacks by 30%. So looking at this Head of Suffering makes me think that you are supposed to take him out first. So you take him out first using single target damage, and then you will deal with the Head of Mischief and Head of Torment afterwards. But yeah, let's uh, finish this one, Head of Torment. Uh, so this part right here is the same for all of the other heads and this one right here as well of course immune to all of the cc's 
and we have this new petrification which we still do not know what petrification is uh, so we are going to expect some of the new champions that will come out with a uh, new petrification skill all right so let's take a look at head of suffering unlike head of torment this guy this guy's a1 is an aoe hit that places weaken but if your champions are under strengthened he will not place that weaken and he has an a2 that is uh that places ally protect and then reflect damage on himself and then places a provoke on one turn on the enemy with the highest critical damage so yeah so this really makes me think that uh you're supposed to really beat this guy first which is why he's pro provoking your highest damage dealer but uh that reflect damage is probably going to kill that champion that's going to at attack him and, uh, and of course ally protection we know how ally protect works so if you try to uh to hit the head of mischief or head of torment while ally, ally protection is up you're probably not going to deal a lot of damage so you're going to really want to focus on head of suffering without killing yourself because of course we have this reflect damage here plus uh he's the only head right now with an a3 a3 attacks one enemy places a pain link debuff for three turns then gets an extra turn pain link now this is of course new and i've been thinking what this could be and i'm thinking that this could simply be a reflect damage debuff so if that's true you have a reflect damage on the boss and you have a pain link which is a reflect damage on yourself so whenever you deal damage you will take similar damage yourself so that will be very painful which is why of course it's called pain pain link so yes i'm thinking that is what this is i may be wrong uh, but for now that's what that's what my guess is also for its passive it increases the resistance of all hydra heads by 50 and of course this is the same this is the same this is the same as well uh but yeah that's what i'm thinking right now you have to single target nuke head of suffering first and then the last one head of mischief uh attacks the e enemy with the most buffs on his a1 steals all of those buffs and steals 50 percent of the target's turn meter this is quite the nasty one even though it's just single target and this is the only attacking skill of this head the a2 is not an attack this just applies a buff spread taking all buffs from this head and placing them on all of the heads changes the duration of all spread buff to two turns so what buffs do we have right now we have this ally protection this reflect damage uh but yes it, it will not be from uh, from this guy because of course the reflect damage is only on the head of suffering but what other buffs do we have yeah we don't have i'm not seeing any other buff that they place on themselves so uh, yeah, here on the a1 so they will of course this guy of course you know why why didn't i see it his he will steal all of your buffs and then he will uh spread those onto the other heads so if you have increased defense increased speed increased crit damage he will get those and then he will spread those to the other heads so yeah quite nasty so they don't really place buffs on them themselves but they will steal all of your buffs all right and of course this one uh similar passive except that this this guy has an ad additional one right here that uh has a 75 percent chance of redirecting an enemy attack onto another random head so this makes me think that you uh they want the head of mischief to stay alive for the longest in this fight and this will not occur if this head is under hex debuff so i think this is uh Plarium's way of making us use the hex debuff because currently uh there's really not much use for uh the hex champions that we have in the game they try to do this with bombs with uh bommel the dreadhorn of course we know how how that went it failed miserably uh, no one's using bombs against bommel although although they did mention that they're going to change that in the next update so we will see if we will indeed use bombs in the next update but yeah so for this this one they're trying to make us use uh hex champions all right so that is currently all the information that we have and even though this seems a lot actually this uh we still have no idea how to deal with this new hydra clan boss one thing for sure is that this is fresh it's entirely new we've never had a boss fight before we're in we had to deal with three bosses of course we have the the spider boss you know with all of the spiderlings but this is different and of course we have uh, things like bommel the dreadhorn with the dread the dread bombs we have bosses with ads but this is the first time we'll, where we will have three actual bosses in the same fight all right so really looking forward to this one i think it will be quite challenging similar to what we deal with with doom tower bosses but we'll see if uh you know if, if it tur turns out to be overpowered super difficult or 
but yeah we'll just have to see all right so i'll put this image file in a pinned comment down down below if in case you want to download this for your own reference thank you guys for watching i hope you found this useful and i'll see you guys in my next video